Today is a day of unlimited possibilities. I want to see what's going on out there with you guys. Are you feeling the same way I'm feeling? Come on in and put a comment in the live right now with how you're feeling. So just go right down there to the comment button and say, how am I feeling today? Am I feeling alive? Am I feeling powerful? Am I feeling threatened? Am I feeling excited? Whoa. I miss, uh, hey Stacy. Are you guys able to put a comment in? Still not able to do it. So you're not getting in at all. Human Garage started live video. <clears throat> okay. Looks like notifications are going out. Woo! Oh, no. We're there. Oh, there we go. Rock and roll. Man, that was a rough start. And after everything has happened last week, so put in the comments exactly how you're feeling today. I want to know if you're feeling what I'm feeling. I've been feeling this weekend like I've got to get stuff done. Things have been coming together. Today, I'm feeling like, like, like I want to charge at the world. I'm just wondering if you guys feel that way. Tip I'm feeling your, ready to live. Tip your phone down. Better. What? Tip your phone down just a little bit. There's a lot of headspace in there. Like You're only about halfway up the screen. Okay, uh, any advice for Lyme disease? Yeah, just send us a DM and we'll send you out. Um, how do you regrow your hair? Actually, we have a hair regrowth supplement uh, that's coming out from the same people that make Power Kirk. And, but I can tell you from my own and a lot of people, a lot of people have been regrowing their hair and you can see mine getting blonder and stuff like that. Um, first and foremost, you have to reduce the tension, fascial constriction here. As we get older, there's more and more constriction, upper reset. Second of all, you have to have the minerals. Third of all, uh, you have to have stimulation of the follicle. But we do have a product coming up. But I would follow the reset, upper reset protocol for right now for hair growth. Lyme disease, uh, DM us and we'll give you some information. Looks like we're here. Yes, we are. I'm feeling wiped out, energy dump. Uh, thank you guys. I mean, what a weird start today. Um, Instagram has been doing some weird stuff since like, last week. A bit tired today. Can you guys do me a favor? Give me a bunch of likes and also send this out to a couple people. Recovering from a cold. And we're going to be talking about water and the power of how it heals the body. I'm looking for Rowena. Rowena, can you put a comment in the chat? Hey, Troy Casey, certified health nut. If you guys haven't been following somebody, follow Troy Casey. How are you doing, Troy? Now it's starting to pick up. I, re I had reconstructive ankle surgery. Any recommendations? Yes, the uh, lower reset and barefoot sprinter routine number two, but take, you gotta take the supplements. Um, can't see anybody's comments. Wow, is anybody else having that issue? Glad to be able to get in, glad you're in. Sorry about all this weirdness of getting in today. I, I, we've been having problems with the lives since they updated the platform last week. Um, can't take diatomaceous. Yeah, you can take diatomaceous earth uh, uh, indefinitely. Um, don't think you, it's not a, uh, diatomaceous earth is not a supplement. It is a mineral and an element that used to be involved in your food and it's being constantly depleted. And so it's like eating, think of it like just eating good vegetables. Or think about it, putting spices in your soups. Um, water is life. Yeah, share it in the circle app. Can you come to OC? I have been there. Yes, we are coming back. We will be back again in OC. Gary, uh, when did you get back? Hey, uh, I just got back here, Troy. Um, Troy, I uh, uh, can't wait to talk to you again live, buddy. How are you doing? Um, just waiting for, do you know where she is? I know, I've been messaging her, I haven't um, tagged her. So I'm doing uh, different. She may not be able to get on too. Okay. Yeah, we're, we have a guest that was getting on. While well, I get the guest coming on, here, let me bring up Troy while we're getting our guest on. Troy, 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 Troy. I'm just coming back to you there. Let's, uh. I love your handle, Certified Health Nut. It's fantastic. And it's so, so funny. Uh, let's see if we can get you live. Anyways, have a quick conversation.
conversation. Yeah, we got back here uh, last week. Is boron the same as borax? It actually, so uh, borax is made with boron, sodium, and oxygen. So technically it's the same thing. Sodium and oxygen are two things that your body needs anyways. Uh, can't hear me now. You're frozen, frozen. Damn screen frozen, shoot. Trying to bring up Troy Casey. Troy, a certified health nut. What is going on with the feed? I'm frozen now. Frozen. Troy says you're unable to join. There's a new update on the platform just came out. Do you take urine uh, and directly apply it or is there a process before applying it? No process to apply it. Okay. What should be done for leaky gut? Uh, 28 day reset and follow the protocol there. For requests. Um, are you guys able to see me now? Is it working? My uh, getting the upper body reset, yes. Okay, you guys wanna see it? Hold on a second, I'll grab it. Wait here, don't go away. I'm over here. So yeah. I'm going to show you what the heck can you can raise today. Okay. I just happen to have a little jar of apple juice. No, it's not apple juice. It's urine. This is organic. Um, it's freshly produced. It's locally sourced. I sourced it myself. And so people ask, you know, how to do it. So I go like this, so I got a little pad here and I'm just gonna, yep, rub it on like a tonic. Yeah, it does not smell on your skin. I know what people say, but mm -hmm. you may think it does. That's only your brain. It all over and you just watch my skin glow in a few minutes. Okay, yeah. I know what you're thinking. I'm like a six out of 10, but if you use it, you're an eight. Okay. There it is. Put a little bit extra on my meridians here. I do not get it on your clothes initially because it will actually have an odor on your clothes because uh, of the bacteria, but it won't with your skin. So you guys can watch my skin here. It's wet. You can watch it. And you're, you're noticing that this area is starting to change. My lips are starting to change. My smile lines are starting to fill up because my face is shifting. So as I shifted my face, I don't know if you guys remember last year, deep dark lines in here. And my face has become more symmetrical. Um, it's still, still untorquing. Like I still got some tension through here and through here. That's why this trap is a little bit higher than this. So it's still a little bit torqued, but it's on the down slope. Urine, yes, glowing. That's how I glow. Does it have to be first year? Uh, uh, no, no. As a matter of fact, I, I, I loop mine. Uh, for those of you guys who know what that means. Um, I take a little bit four or five times a day. Listen, when I decide to commit to something to try it for the body, I'm doing it so I can give you my experience. You don't have to do what I, you don't have to do what I, what I do. I'm doing these things because the world has told me certain things about the human body and I found most of them to be not true. They've told me that I, that I couldn't go three days without water. I did. They said I couldn't go three weeks without food. I did 44 days without food, two weeks without any water or fluids. So after that, they told me that the bones were structured in my body. They told me that the brain moved the muscles and I have found all of those things to be not true. So I am continuing to test and you don't have to do this, but I am testing and I'm finding out the information. And when I do things, I do it 110%. So yes, I have, I've been looping my urine constantly throughout the day to see what happens, to see what changes in my body and doing it every day. Because it's like when I decided to try plant medicine, I believed that it worked, but I believe that there's a better way to do it. And I'm, I'm open to try. I'm not, a, I'm not afraid to try things in my body. Um, and you know, you think about it this way. 
You're willing to drink pus, literally pus out of a cow called milk. Drink pus out of a cow. You're willing to put carcinogenics, aluminum, pesticides, uh, toxicity on your skin. You're willing to wear clothes that have toxicity in them. And you're worried about taking something that was in your body and putting it back on your body. Tell me how that makes sense. Like, tell me in any reasonable world how that makes sense. That you're willing to put stuff on creams that you've got stuff on there you can't even pronounce. If you cannot, if it doesn't come from your body or you wouldn't eat it, then you shouldn't put it on your skin in any case, ever for anything. And what do you think? You notice the glow starting to come out? Yeah. It, your skin starts to glow like you're young again, and it does it right away. Why wouldn't you do it? Oh, oh it's dirty. I'm like, really? You guys, you got it. It has been used for thousands of years. It's used in Ayurvedic medicine. There is some very convenient science that tells you some bullshit about it because they don't want you to use it. Why? Because then you use their products. Think about it. Listen, 70% of the toxins in your body detoxify from the water that leaves your body. 70% goes through your lungs. 23% goes through your sweat and your defecation. Only a small amount of toxins, less than 3%, go through your urine. Yes, you can see that you have something in your body through your urine, but the actual toxic release is coming through your sweat because your liver is handling it. It's coming out through the fascia. It's, it's sweating out. You're breathing it out. That's your primary mechanism for detox. Very little comes out through the urine, and even, even remarkably, very little comes out through the, through the colon either. Most of it is sweat and breathing. Yeah. And I'm not afraid to try. And guess what? If I'm wrong, I'll tell you. If it doesn't work, I'll tell you. But you should have saw the people calling me fat three years ago because I stopped training and dieting. I said, I'm not going to train. I'm not going to diet. I'm going to do these fascial maneuvers. I'm going to keep my body. I got trashed online for years. People say, you're fat. Why? How can you tell us about health? What are you doing? And then, and then even when I got skinny, I was still fat because the skin was still there. And I was, the next thing was, why do some people, when they go from 300 pounds or 400 pounds down to like 140, 150 pounds, why is it some of them the skin's tight and some of them the skin's saggy? And I'm answering that question. I believe I have an answer for it. And that was my journey because I lost all this weight. I went from 250 down to 175 pounds. And then I had this saggy skin. I was after my fat, my fast at 44 days, and I was still fat. So I had these unanswered questions, and I've spent years thinking about this and now answering them. And I had access to a gazillion lab tests and reports, and they still didn't answer it. So this is my journey. How to detox from THC. Does, yeah, as a matter of fact, um, if you get Mark Liu on here, he... Uh, he, he's a Sagittarius, 29 degree in Vancouver. He got he had, was stabbed and had a gunshot wound. And um, and he was recovering from it. He got addicted to opiates. And um, and when he and I was talking to him and I said, this is actually thank you, Mark, because you actually changed my opinion. You actually turned me from that. It's only for therapy. He was addicted to opiates um, because they had been so long uh, dealing through the injury. And, um, and I said, I, I was talking to him, I said, well, how did you get off the opiates? And he goes, you're in therapy. And I go, oh, wow. Oh, interesting. I, I, I guess I can now make sense of why. But I said, how long did it take you? He goes, one day. And I'm like, whoa. So I started digging in and doing research. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this. And, and it worked, man. And I put up that post on the, on the weekend. And thank you for all you commenting in there. The first couple of times we did it, we got like land basic. There's Mark. Hey, Mark. Is uh, Elena there? Hey, Mark. She just messaged me. Did she? Yeah. Okay. Looking for Rowena to come in here. 
And uh, Mark Liu here, it, um, he's the one that actually threw it over the edge for me so that I was, I was willing to do it. Am I growing fast manure since May now have tension pain in my head? Yes, if you have tension pain in your head, here's what I recommend. First of all, do the upper reset every day, especially if you're doing fast maneuvers. But I encourage you to go into the water and here's my practice, okay? There's three things you do. You go under the water six to 10 feet, blow out all of your air and move your body, like swim or stretch your body. And then until you're completely out of oxygen, you come up to the surface, then you'll be, uh, uh, but you should feel like, almost like you worked out or ran. And you do that three times. And then you do it three times the opposite. Breathe in, go down about, about 10 feet, and then 10 feet, move your body, wiggle around, move your head, wiggle around. And 10 to 15 feet, do not blow the air out. Let the expansion, the pressure, and move your head. And the internal layers of fascia start to open up. But doing, if you're having head pressure after doing maneuvers, you're probably starting to grow again. And then if you're growing again, you need to create more space up here so the upper reset works. And now I'll give you an example. The average person, by the time they hit 40, is one... Uh, between one and two inches, averaging one and a half inches shorter. Well, your bones don't reduce in length. So what gets shorter? You take somebody who's like 28, and by the time they're 70, they're like this. So what is it that's actually shorter at 40 years old? Their fascia is compressed. Well, where is it going to compress? It's going to compress up here. It's going to compress here. It's going to compress in here. Those are the areas because it's not all compressing down, it's compressing in. You're a bag and it's compressing and torquing in. So you're torquing in. These are all your emotions. As you, as you dysregulate your emotions or hold them for a long time, it pulls you in like this and eventually the fascia tightens to adapt. And so when you start doing fascia maneuvers, if you're having a lot of head pressure, it could be that you're dehydrated you need to keep the hydration you have to be you have to be taking silica right now whether it's diatomation served or silica from horsetail or the two that we recommend if you're not taking that right now and you live in any one of the 80 top countries you are you are you are most likely almost certainly deficient in minerals they they even now officially say that the body water count is 60 to 65 percent when it was 70 percent just a decade ago and has been since a history of, 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 of science on the body. We've always been 70% water, but all of a sudden we're now 60% water. Well, what, what is the mechanism of that? That means we're not holding water. We become gradually dehydrated. We noticed in 2014 that people were coming up, 88% of our patients, of 10,000 patients, 88% of them were dehydrated chronically. And we were like, what it could possibly be happening? Now we know it's the geoengineering. It's not a, if you guys download our supplement guide. So just go to our, go to the, go to our, the link in our bio or go to our website, download our supplement guide. And we give you evidence in there of what's going on, why it's happening. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to take somebody up while we're waiting. Oh, she is? Oh, where is she? She has to request. Hi, Kelly. Hi. Hi. It's so funny that you're talking about hydration right now. <laughs> it's everything. Yeah, we, we've only got a couple of okay. minutes here because I got a guest that I'm bringing yep. up. But uh, Kelly, I mean, I know who you are and I know you cut hair. Um, I do. I'm, I just walked out of the salon to go get and some. Water. You're a Libra, right? I'm a Libra. And when's your birthday? Um, October 5th. October 5th. So yeah, what have you been experiencing? First of all, you put your hands on clients hair. Have you noticed a change in the last 10 years? Oh, gosh, for sure. Yeah. Um, you know, what I really noticed is that people who are and I, I, I'm relating it to hydration now people that are really dehydrated their well, their um, their scalps are so tight and their hair is thin, right? Thin hair and tight scalp. And this is where mine has been, as you've been watching, mine mine is now blonde again. Yeah. yeah. And they're super tender. They're super tender. They're like, oh, don't wash my hair like that. It hurts. Yeah. 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 And, and so 
what I've noticed in my own journey is that when I bath with diet, when I take the minerals, diatomaceous earth, Irish sea moss, and then I bath with it, and I bath with it, I become super silky and soft. And uh, that's been a big change for me. So I, since I've been with you, I actually created a product line. And it's oh, after, what is your product line? So it's called Hydro Smooth, and it's everything that I've learned from you. And it's bizarre because it's just taken off. So I've combined the diatomaceous earth, uh, borax, um, baking soda, and um, magnesium, and to, to teach people how to get hydrated because they think drinking more water is helping, and it's not. And that's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So awesome. Um, you have to, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I take all of those items. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm thinking, I'm wondering if I add um, the iris sea moss to it, would it absorb through the skin or no? Yeah. Iris sea moss. Yeah. As a matter of fact, a lot of the good um, bath uh, gels and bath uh, treatments have iris sea moss. Yeah. Definitely. Iris sea moss also is an emulsifant, it's a thickener. Okay. So it actually will create some, it creates a gelatinous type. Uh, substance so yeah can you uh I, well it's hard to get it into mexico but but um yeah 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 talk reach out to lisa um in, in instagram lisa human garage and then okay. ship it to our ship it to our warehouse and we'll get it out i'd like to try okay awesome i've been a little hesitant because i've been so overwhelmed i have just like done so well with it i'm like i gotta learn how to keep up with this stuff that's awesome you Taking our, you're taking our philosophy, you've turned it into a business. I appreciate Yeah, I've been waiting that. to get online with you, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe I have a whole product line, and it's just been Hey, where amazing. can we find out about it? So, really, right now, I don't have it on my website yet. Just follow me on Facebook. Okay. Um, Facebook and Instagram. It's just, yeah, Kelly and yeah, yep, you can follow me on my Facebook from Instagram. Okay, yep. okay. So, uh, so uh, reach out to Lisa. What we're doing is, is it, you know, like there's a difference between, as you know, creating a product and it's like, great, I got 50 people that want it, but then I want, I have 5,000 people that want it, changes the, the whole dynamic. So, yeah, I'm, I'm um, working on creating a help. warehouse. We can, yeah, well, well, we can help. You're, where are you, California? Michigan. We, I mean, we, we have the facilities, we built the facilities to, incubate people like yourself to do that including marketing and stuff like that um but you know re reach out show us the product and then and then we can help along okay. the way I, what's your ig handle uh kelly anderson spiritual healer okay awesome kelly thank you so much thanks gary okay. appreciate it bye-bye right. okay let's try right now let's try rowena okay that's really cool. Um, I, there's going to be a lot of products I know that are coming up. Rowena, can you put a comment in the comment section? I just try to bring you up, but sometimes it doesn't work. I, I only went away for, for a couple of days, guys. <laughs> and I wasn't even away. It wasn't even a week off. It was a week of, of hardcore working. It was awesome. I mean, it, it was legitimately awesome. Okay, um, I'm looking for ink three. Rowena, can you put a comment in there, Sam? Here, Scorpio, eleven fourteen fifty nine. Wow, still missed you. Yeah, I missed you guys too. I'm going to be just so you guys know. I'm going to be transitioning, moving all of the conversation and the daily conversations into once weekly and to a podcast. And I'm going to be moving the daily conversations into our new performance program, which comes out in May. Um, and the reason why is that everything that you need to know about, about healing your body, um, everything you need to know about healing your body, everything, is already out there in our programs, uh, online, in our chats, on our YouTube, everything. So we're running a whole new program about how to perform and 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 what and and what it takes to perform in your life and your body and it's not your body isn't where performance happens your body is a result of performance performance happens in your emotions your thoughts your field is where performance happens if the field is okay the body is okay and we're going to be sharing our belief about how the human body works and 
this is a way that you guys can also, it's a paid for program. It's a way that you guys can also help contribute um, so that we can actually create more content. And we're creating a center for performance so people can learn to perform in their life. Uh, there are centers popping up all over the world and retreats all over the world to heal yourself. We don't need to do that. We are gonna create the top premier performance center in the world where everything is brought together. I'm trying to, Rowena, can you, is she there? She's there. Can Rowena, can you say something in the comments, please? I don't see her coming up in the comments. I see her on, I mean, I see her on the Yeah, but I don't see her in the comments. She said she's dropped the chat fast or two. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, by the way, what do you think of my face so far? Do I look nice and shiny? Does it look, look like I put on a moisturizer? Why, because urea, is the only proven scientifically proven moisturizer on the planet nothing else is a moisturizer oils don't moisturize they stop moisture from going up so you get moisture in the skin because oil is a barrier that's that takes the toxins in the water and brings it to the skin and stops it from passing through something that's weird is i can't see you in the comments uh, you can't see her i can't see any of the comments oh you can't I see the comments. I can but I can't see everybody else's. Okay, I'm gonna try, Rowena, well, we I'm gonna try bringing you up again. How do you do for, for turf toe? I don't know what turf toe is. There we go. I think we got it. Hello. Yay. How are you? Hey, Rowena, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm just repositioning so I'm in a quieter place. Yeah. So, uh, 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 wow, first of all, Rowena, um, introduce yourself again. I know lots of people know who you are, but. Hey, I'm Rowena Gates, and we have the Nano V device, which is a device that Gary has used for, really for a long, long time um, from the olden days. And um, he used it a great deal when a year ago, which I'm wearing my celebration t-shirt because it's a whole year since I spent um, a week at the retreat in Cancun and it was the best physical and mental upgrade of ever. It was fantastic. So I can't believe it's been a whole year. I can't, um, I can't believe it's been a year I'm either. a co-founder of the company that has the Nano V device. And it does a lot of different things, including cell repair, regeneration. And what Gary notices is that it, it hydrates fascia and things move better when people are using the Nano V device, but really is doing a whole lot more than that in the cells. Well, so uh, we're, I'm, I'm going to actually share for the first time my belief of how the human body works starting in May. So we, in my commitment to the world was to bring fascial maneuvers, which heals the body to the world. But I wrote, Rowena, I haven't seen you in a while, but when you see me again, you're not gonna believe it. Like my physical body's changed, my, everything has changed. And, and now I'm at this stage where I want to, I just want to perform. There's nothing left to heal or fix or anything like that. And so I'm gonna share that part of the journey, but in order for me to share it, I have to tell people I don't believe the I don't believe that the body is constructed the way we learn it. I don't believe we're a muscle skeletal body. I don't believe that biology is the most important. I believe that our energy, like we have a human experience, which is way out here, and this and as around us, which we can measure. Some people call it aura, which is a higher frequency than I am right here. And at the center of that human experience is this stubby human that I identify with this lethargic piece that's trying to understand or work with it. So we're gonna be sharing that. And this is why I wanna talk about water so much because we are 70% water. Unless of course you go to school right now for medicine, they tell you that you're 60% water. They, <laughs> literally, they started that this last two years saying that people are officially 60% water. And I'm like, that's why, because people are so dehydrated. So we're 70% water, which means that, and we have about 25% silica sand. And then we got back bacteria and viruses, which we have trillions of them, which make up the only 5% of the physical matter. So this is why water is so important. And when I say it hydrates the fascia, I know that's a dumbing down of it, but everything, every 
bone, muscle, organ, tissue, gland, nerve was created inside of plasma, which is fascia, fascia. So we are fascia and these things have grown inside it. So if we're so much water, why is water so important to the human body from your perspective? Well, from our perspective, it's the environment of the body. So it, it's, there, there are lots of other things in there, but it's the environment in which everything else works. So if the water works better to support that environment, all the other cell components and everything else works better. And as you said, it's an energy state. And so the idea is if you can improve the energy state um, in the water, you're improving the basis for, for the cell and for all function. And in our case, and what we can measure is the improvement in protein activities. And if you think about proteins, people think about what they eat. However, those are those, that's getting the right raw materials into the body. The body makes all the proteins that make up most of your body, all your tissue, all of that is, is made of proteins. And they also do every bit of work in the body, basically. From blinking an eye to breathing to detox, all of that work is, is an orchestration of protein How functions. How many proteins and, do we have, as <laughs> Well, you have to do the math. Um, we have, we have um, five, 10,000 or more in each cell. And we estimate about 70, 75 tri trillion cells in the body. So it's a huge number that proteins are very small and they're just all over so, the place. So this is a, this, cause this is part of what I tell people and I may have the numbers wrong, so I'll get the numbers corrected by you. But basically every function of human life is driven by a protein. I, I think that's safe to say that even if it's not the driver, like with an antioxidant, say glutathione or some antioxidant, it's not actually a protein, but it, there's all these precursors and protein activities that you need in order for it to work. Well, that's and so I'd say the proteins are, are us. That like a glutathione is telling us to do something basically. Well, it's it's gonna it's gonna help with the free radicals and reduce oxidative damage, but but the point is it will it will play a role in everything even when it's not specifically a protein activity. So how, so how many proteins have we identified scientifically <laughs> and how many have we, do we actually know what they do to some degree? Well, it's changing really fast because of AI. So I might be a little bit out of date, but it's around 50,000, probably more than that now that we can name and identify. Uh, and then they estimate there's close to a million different proteins in the body. And the, so that 50,000 um, is a small number that we can even name. But <clears throat> in addition to that, they all interact all over the place in very complicated ways. And we haven't begun to sort out all those interactions. So, we have, so we have basically there's 5,000 proteins per cell. Is that right? Or more. Or more. We have 50 trillion cells or? It's 70, 75 trillion. They keep you up, know, everybody updating that. So I'm gonna update my number, 70 trillion. Okay, so that means we have, um, we have 78 times 50, that's 3.5. That's, that's a lot, I don't, I, what's after trillion? Quintillion? Gazillion. Yeah, gazillion. <laughs> so we have a gazillion proteins, okay? and. We effectively, as scientists, know what 5,000 of them do. And this, this is where I say to people, um, where they say the science settled, and I said, we, that's like saying that, that we, that's like taking uh, in the ocean and taking a puddle that comes out and washes up and looking at that puddle and saying, we understand the entire ocean in the world from that one puddle. And that's the, that's the scope of what we're, we're saying when we say we understand the human body. We're, we are just at the beginning of the understanding of the human body. And this is where, because what, what we're doing is, we are now, what, what we, we have something that works. We have 20 million people around the world doing these fascia maneuvers and they're working, it's growing fast. It's faster than anything I can ever imagine. But 
We have never told anybody why they work. And I have a theory, but I'm, I'm completely open to the fact that my theory is wrong. It yeah. just explains it better than the, the current way we explain it. We don't know shit about the human body, technically. I think, I think that's an, an, an evidence of that is almost most pharmaceuticals are doing something to tweak proteins. You know, they're modulators or um, blockers or whatever. And most of them have um, unintended consequences. So all those side effects are an example of the fact that we, we don't know everything that's going on in there and how they interact. It's too complicated. You, you know, um, our power Kirk 30, um, what it does scientifically is it blocks NF kappa B, but it, it turns the, the inflammation off intercellular with a heat shock protein called MSK1. That's scientifically proven part of the patent. And, um, and the reason why we believe it doesn't have these deleterious side effects like a pharmaceutical is because we took a curcuminoid and we put it back into the origin source, which was curcumin. Whereas in pharmacology, we take the active ingredient, we put it in petroleum. So it's a signaling issue that, we, that I feel that pharmacology creates a side effect. Because your body, you think about it this way, like when I take, uh, let's say Cheetos, bad example, but I'm going to make a, you know, a simple example. My, my, I eat it and there's chemicals in there that says, you're getting calcium and your body goes, I want calcium. And it's like, oh. I eat them up. Then I get down there in the digestive process and my system says, hey, I thought you sent me calcium. And the, and, and the brain goes, I sent you calcium. Well, I need more calcium. So then we have the addictive cycle wanting to feed it back because the signaling that happens here doesn't doesn't have the action underneath and this is why we all of our our products are what we believe we call it the new pharmacology it's it's between natural and pharmacology is our human growth supplements right and that 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 all makes perfect sense to me <laughs> and you know what happens when we make set when things make sense we make dollars no, those, um, but the, the hydration piece and your hydration product, and actually you helped me with hydration, I want to say seven, six years ago, probably, that you first were like, well, first of all, you're dehydrated. <laughs> and, um, and so that's a, that's a huge piece of it. And so the, whatever diatinaceous earth, horsetail, whatever that is, that yeah. makes a really big difference. So, so we, so we know water is important. Okay, we've established that, and water helps the 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 proper function of the proteins, and water and minerals, because minerals is the electricity that goes between it. So, why is the water that comes out? First of all, your 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 device is all custom made. It's not components. It, that's that's part of the reason why, and it does something to the water that's different. It's not like breathing. Uh, aerated water, or it's not like breathing uh, 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 water that you get or oxygen. Why is it so different? Like, what is it the device does to the water, and why is that different? Oh, yeah. It's very different. You are breathing a humid airflow, but it's not just a humidifier. Uh, you're breathing that humidity with water droplets that have been adjusted inside the device, and that's what makes it really different, is that adjustment inside. and what that is is bombarding the water droplets with uh, different wavelengths that change the energy state of that water. So when you inhale it, it's it's got a different energy state and it's the state your body needs to support all these cellular activities, specifically the protein activities. And what that state is, <laughs> is that the water uh, molecules are more densely packed together. And so this is where you get exactly, you get more of a, um, when that transfers through your system, you're creating more like a gel-like um, texture on the surfaces in the, inside the cell. The, yeah. <laughs> Slippery water. Yeah. It's Slippery so water at the cellular level. It's turbocharged. <laughs> Slippery water at the cellular level. Yeah. Right. And so, when that water, that energy state, and it's more gel-like, is surrounding um, a surface in the cell, which are mostly proteins and mitochondria. Mitochondria is, you know, largely mitochondrial proteins, so they have to uh, function as well. 
um, then that's a different energy state on the surface of the protein. And it's the energy state that the protein needs uh, for the final phase it requires, which is folding. It has to fold from a chain of amino acids into a 3D shape before it can work. Okay. And so, so take that now, now take that full comment and then explain it to a five-year-old. Okay. So, um, you know, the second law of thermodynamics, just joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, um, um, it, for something to happen, it needs energy. It doesn't just happen magically. It's not magic. It needs energy to do something like fold. And so there has to be an energy source. And in this case, the protein relies on the water as the energy source. And that transfer of energy to the protein is what's so critical for the protein to be able to work. And, and there's actually, um, you can read Gerald Pollack's work on uh, the fourth phase of water, which explains what's happening, really. Is that accurate that, to say? That's exactly, the, that's exactly it. He's a wonderful researcher, and he's, he's just been amazing for us. Um, and his book is called The Fourth Phase of Water. And let me just explain that for a sec, if that's okay. Yeah, please. We think of three phases, which are the... Um, the liquid gas and solid and what Gerald Pollack's work and the work of other researchers showed is that there's actually a fourth phase which is between the liquid and the solid and it's more like a gel which is so interesting when you look at plants like Irish sea moss right. and what's really going on is gels play a pretty big role in in plants they definitely if you eat a plant that's um it's more hydrating uh when it's a gel state so it's not just in humans but in humans it's really key and then also jerry showed that the that fourth phase only forms on surfaces and they're thin layers it's not like you'd have a whole glass of that water and so can i ask a that's question why about we that? use the droplets um would that be like, would that be like, uh, let's say aloe vera is very slippery and gel-like compared to like, like a juice of an orange? Correct. So, so it would, it would, similar in, in, a, in a dumbed down way, similar to that philosophy. It's yeah. More like aloe vera than orange juice. Exactly. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And um, yeah, so that, that gel-like nature is, is so important to form on the surfaces inside the cell. Yeah. And so this is where, when I used your machine back in 2018, um, and you know what's funny, because I, I got a weird flashback to 2018 in a message yesterday, um, which was six years ago. Wow, it's been six years. So I, what I noticed, my first experience, because I had been doing all this fascial work and body work, but I, I could tell I was restricted, but I just didn't know what to do about it. I was hydrating and stuff like that. I was on your machine, and then I, would, and then I was stretching, and all of a sudden, my stretch overstretched. I fell over because I, you know, I, I like stretched to my maximum, and then I went, whoa, and I lost my balance and fell over. And I'm like, whoa, what happened there? And what had happened was the layers of my fascia, I could feel were moving like this. And as I was bringing the, the air, the, the nano V air in, um, what happened was I could feel my layers liquefy. Now, from a clinical perspective, we were able to take our treatment time from, at uh, that time, from 120 minutes down. Uh, initially, we, we dropped it down to 90 minutes and then to 70 minutes by doing a couple things. One of them, the most significant part of that is we put them on the nano V for 15 minutes before treatment for that short period of time that we were testing it. And that's when I knew that there was something different about what you were doing. Because I tried all kinds of hydration machines, all kinds of technology to calm down the body. Because when someone comes in and lays on a table, if they're tense or tight, it would take us extra time to break down and get them relaxed. Now I know it was also calming their brain. It was also clearing up their digestive system and stuff like that yeah it, it's going to be doing it's going to be helping 
the body do these things. So it, you can think of it, it, it doesn't really do anything. The body does everything That's and it just helps by creating that better environment. And so that, I got busted the other day, by the way. Pardon? Somebody said to me, um, cause they're, they're, they're trying to bust me. They're like, cause I, I basically use virtually no technology now. Like I used to use lasers and amp coils and everything like that. And I've used it all and they all have an effect, right? The machines, they all work to a degree but they all stop working at some point. And that's what I observed because I used them clinically and I got everybody to a point and they're good, but then they stopped working and they had to keep doing it over and over again, but their results were diminishing over time. And I noticed this. So when it, somebody said, well, you use a nano V. And I said, I said, look at, I breathe bad, bad air. It's all over. It's dirty. There's no doubt if you live, if you're not in nature full time, 100% in the mountains, you're breathing bad air. And I have EMFs that are affecting me. So I drink good water. I put good water, filtered water on my body or ocean water or lake water. I have a house filter like in Lions Bay. And then I use Nano B. And the reason why is because it's only water. And then the body gets the, uh, the best availability to do what it wants because I'm not taking over a function for the body by using Nano V. I'm just giving the body better quality water to work with technically. It, it, that's exactly right. And that, that's why for individuals, it really depends on their state what actually gets done because the body decides that. And for one person, it might be reducing inflammation. And for another person, it might be, you know, uh, I don't know, a more, more brain power, feeling more focused, or having your fascia feel more limber. You know, um, well, there's, uh, the way that I see the body is the brain is just a processor. I don't, I, I, with respect to the body and the brain, uh, thank you, brain. I, I'm going to joke about you a bit here, but basically the brain is pretty stupid. It just it identifies patterns and resolves them. It's very easily fooled. We can trick it by distracting it. Like it's it's like a it's like a Gemini. It's like oh over there, oh over there, all the time. And to all you Gemini's, I know you're laughing with me. Okay, I'm not laughing at you. Um, but the brain can be very easily distracted if it has a big emotion. It can't a big issue. Can't it just keeps focusing on it and it, it forms a loop. And if it can't solve the problem, it opens a window and says, I can't solve that problem and leaves that window open. And it goes on to the next one and the next one. And over time, we have a lot of windows open in our nervous system trying to process. If we calm the body down, the functions of the body, if they're working more efficiently, the brain does less math. It's less active. That's why, and even now in the, in the area of quantum physics with, with respect to the body, it's pretty clear that they say that your subconscious drives all of our activity, which is true. It, it makes 98% of the decisions for us and we, we think we're deciding. But what is our subconscious? That my theory was big back then, it was my fascia because the fascia has an interstitium. It's, a, it's got 100 trillion nerve endings where my brain only has 100 billion nerve endings, horsepower. So our bodies are intelligent. Our brain is a, is a junction box to coordinate that intelligence amongst the systems. And that's why, that's why if the body's calm, the brain's calm. That's why I tell people Nano V works on your brain because you're taking it calming the body down. The brain has a lot less work to do. Yeah, absolutely. And the other thing is your brain, if you're using your brain, uh, you're using oxygen. You burn more oxygen in your brain when you're concentrating. And that means you have more oxidative damage and so if you can help clean it up faster, repair that damage faster, and that's all the repair is done by proteins, uh, then you're gonna stay uh, with a lot better brain endurance, better you know, clarity, less fatigue. So you guys have actually got research science on it. You're, you're cleared to say certain things about it medically. What are the things that it deals with medically? Well, we don't talk about any diseases, just so everybody knows that. We don't study it related to diseases um, but we've studied a lot of different aspects and i'll tell you about the most exciting stuff we've had lately uh because you haven't heard this yet but we had metabolic testing done uh, it was done by a testing company called panoe it's a it's a great um pretty involved test they have 23 markers and so on and the short the short story is 
that they could show an improvement in VO2 max uh, with one session of NanoV, statistically significant, and a 7.8% improvement in VO2 max. Now, nobody knows what VO2 max is unless you're an athlete, probably. But VO2 max is the measure of biological age. Mm -hmm. So if you, you could reduce biological age in one session, that's pretty good. <laughs> what do you think? How about that? Fabulous. Your hair looks amazing since even last year, I have to oh. say. Oh, I, I, Rowanna, when you when, when you touch me, I know that sounds a little weird. <laughs> but no, when you when you get when I see you again, you won't believe it. The change from last year is is just off the charge. Biological age and and I can tell you from testing VO2 max that it increases immediately when somebody uses the NLB. Exactly, and it's a that's a wonderful measure to get that um, significance. And then there's other aspects like uh, what they call the crossover point, which is where you're whether you're burning fat versus carbohydrates. And it's point actually where it's fifty fifty, but you want to keep burning fats longer. And that's a really important indicator for weight loss and weight management. And so if you can extend your crossover point, that's a good thing uh, for for everybody and athletes and that was an 11 percent improvement in one session i prefer and weight the other management because if i lose it i'm going to find it again inevitably <laughs> so i manage it and give it off to other people there's lots of <laughs> underweight people in the world i gave mine away yeah it just doesn't want to be there it's pretty easy when everything's working right yeah so and then you the know what? i i have been the out of everybody on my team <clears throat> I have done one thing consistently that no one else has done consistently. Because I, I use the NLB every day. Unless, I'm, unless there's a couple of quick trips I went on. But if, I go on, if I'm going somewhere for two weeks, I haul it to the airport with me. Yeah. And, and, and that is the one thing that differs me from everybody else on my team. And, and I mean, we're all changing and growing and, and, and getting younger and stuff like that, but my results have accelerated. So we all do the same thing. We all go to, as you know, you've been with us, we all eat the same, we all go to the beach the same, we all basically do the same thing. The one thing I do different from everybody completely is an NLV every day, and, and it shows. I've been doing it since you brought it here a year ago, I've been doing it every day. I love it. That's a wonderful thing. That's great. Now, one other thing that I'll mention of this new study, because you wouldn't have heard or seen this yet, is um, respiratory exchange ratio measures your utilization of oxygen. And that was also an 11% improvement in one session. So what that means is we're not adding extra oxygen, like an oxygen tank or a hyperbaric or something. We're, it means your body's utilizing the oxygen better. It means your mitochondria is working better. And that is an engine that makes a whole bunch of things work better in the body. Giving the body extra oxygen has a short-term benefit and a long-term problem. Right. Because, because your, body, it, it's, it, your body habituates any state of awareness, good or bad. And, and this is what I, again, this is why I like it, because it's not giving my body extra oxygen. It's making the utilization of the oxygen in the water better. Right, and so now that's been that's been shown and statistically significant and all of that. So that's that's the newer research. Then there's been a, a last year um, there was a big study uh, published in the International Journal of Molecular Science, and that one was on the proteins, protein damage and repair. And so that's if you if you hear what I'm saying is we're getting down to the heart of what's going on in the cell and studying that rather than studying um, a, a disease or a condition. Fair, fair statement. I mean, that's, <clears throat> we, we, so this eats, the body's not at ease. If I, if I have fear, my body's not at ease. If I have anger, my body's not at ease. What I have found is that it's measurable that when I sit on a nano V, my emotional state changes. Oh, yeah. Because that's another piece that, uh, where your body does what it needs. And most of us, uh, our autonomic nervous system is more heavy in the stress side than yes. the relaxed repair side. Yeah. And so that's, that's pretty universal. So almost everybody is going to feel a calming effect. And in studies, we can show that at about minute seven or eight is when 
you people drop out of the stress mode in, within a session. You know what's funny? It's minute seven or eight in the 15 minute stress reset is when they drop out of stress. <laughs> we can measure that. That makes perfect sense with the, with from like the bit I know about that how the autonomic nervous system is working. It's not going to necessarily be immediate. And then the parasympathetic nervous system, so that really rest and repair phase, takes longer to build. Yeah. So, but for most of us, just getting out of stress mode and doing that before bed can be super helpful. Yeah. We, we, we like, a lot of people are not going to be able to get to a nano leap. And this is where our our high our whole program like what we're doing is we're building these little micro centers in communities all over the world uh, we expect to have have literally hundreds of them this year popping up we've been prepping them and what we're suggesting is that these centers if they are a health center they bio nano v if they are community center they chip in they get one because there's certain things like a water like a water yeah. filter not everybody can afford a water filter but you can afford one in a center and then people can come and get their water and 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 we're doing this in communities um because of where we think the world's going um what we're doing is we're building these little pockets of communities where people can get resources locally and we're doing that all over the world right now i think that community health is it's absolutely essential and it's where we want to be because we cannot make our device inexpensively. No. It's not possible to buy the components and have everything built and all of that. But you could have 20 or 30 people share one device in one day. And yeah. so you put it into a community setting, um, it's, it, it can really serve a lot of people. It's built like a tank. It won't wear out, you know. You know, one of the first people that we sent you to buy a device, uh, is coming here to stay next week he, he bought it about i don't know maybe about uh nine months ago ten months ago he's coming to stay with us next week um and uh, he has parkinson's and the results have been amazing he's been doing fascial maneuvers and he has uh and he's been using the nano beat oh fantastic a fantastic combination and parkinson's is something you know we can see good results with and people they might have it technically but they can live without the symptoms of parkinson's yeah i yeah i know i know that we have these all these technical talks but you know like um when we go looking for diseases and disease pathologies you can find them pretty easily um when we take the stress out of the body then the pathology doesn't act that this is back to genetics epigenetics if we take the stress off the body, the bodies tend to heal themselves. That's what I find. Absolutely. And and this is what this is what using your device does. And by the way, I do want to have a business talk with you because we're ready to to go to the next step and 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 help you with the marketing of this in a different way because we do have these communities setting up all over the world and, and I wanna I wanna create a program to help get it into these communities because I I do believe in it so much. It's it's there's very few things that I do every day. I do, I, I take my minerals and my elements, I to make sure if I receive them. I, I drink, um, I drink filtered water. I, I have removed all the chemicals of my life, which is, which is something that, that executes daily and I use nano V and that's it. And since I have, since in this last year, since you had dropped off the machine to me, um, yeah, I have, I have had this massive acceleration and what i say it was it was the last piece um and because i i had been doing everything everything the same formula i had been using for three years private uh, previous and there's an accumulation of time and all that but it was the acceleration of it well when i saw you last year now a year ago happy anniversary <laughs> um you still had some issues you're working through yeah all, and all, all, all done now, now except for my teeth you're a gazelle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just waiting. Um, I have a frequency device that grows teeth back in 30 days. Um, it, FDA cleared. I have a, a drug that grows teeth back in in 30 days. And 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 I'm and I'm like, ah, if you can do it with these two things, you can do it naturally. So I'm I'm working on growing my my uh, my uh, canines back and the ones behind them and one down here. Wow. Hey. And if you look at it, it's the same tissue. It's different than the bones. You know, bones together, think about this. If you put bones too close together in the body, they fuse. 
So bones don't stop growing. Correct. They just need the environment. So the question is, when you crack a teeth or you get a hole in it, why doesn't it, why doesn't it fuse? And it's because your teeth are more like the nail here. Yeah. And, and, and that is, if I remove a nail, it'll grow back. But if, it, if there's too much compression or damage in the fascial tissue there, it won't. So that means to me that there was just too much compression and damage in here. And that's where you see my face has been changing dramatically over the last year because I've taken it all out now. And so I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm going back for the, I'm, 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 uh, I don't know if they have to come out first. I, I'm just letting it do what it's going to do. I think it might have to come out first. I'm not sure, but I, I have too many examples. I've seen too many examples where, where cavities have been pushed out by teeth free growing. I have seen a number of teeth free grown. And now in, it's University of Alberta. They actually de- brought the device to market in 2006 and it was tanked. It's there, I know the guy, and the device works and you put it up there and it regrows the teeth in 30 days. Um. Man, the, the university is interesting that they've done a lot in biological medicine. Those guys, they're pretty far ahead of the curve. Yeah, it just it wasn't very popular. So it was it was shut down. I had they put it on the news uh, in Canada on the, the mainstream news in 2006. It ran it as a story and then didn't hear nothing of it after that. Wow. So that's your next phase is your teeth. That's it. I mean, physiologically, my body. I have, I'm, I'm, I'm at my 14 year old body weight. So I'm 20 pounds lighter than when I saw you last 25 pounds, but I don't look like I'm 25. I like, I look like I'm, I'm muscular. I, I look the same size, but I have reduced my density, yep. which, which to me is muscle density, which I've been carrying around since I was, you know, since I was 18, I was uh, a national bodybuilder. So I've reduced that. I'm in my 14 year old body weight, more flexible than I've ever been, skin more elastic. Um, don't yeah, you're don't skin. sleep much. Your skin uh, is incredible. Yeah. Well, yeah, that- it, it is. Yeah. So so I'm 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 pushing through, and then starting in May, we've never I've never told we we left it. I said I, earlier we started with fashion mirrors, but I never told the, my theory of why they work. And I'm open to other theories because it's all intellectual property. We'll help you. If you have a theory that you want to test, we have people in universities uh, writing papers on it right now and testing it all over the world. If you have a theory, we'll help you and support you. But I have my theory of why it's going to work. So I'm going to present it starting May over 12 months because it's not intellectual. You have to experience it. Otherwise, you can't learn it. And I'm doing a 12 month journey. And what it is, it's a documentary series. But it's it's creating the book, and everybody who gets involved in it is going to be uh, listed as a creator in bringing this book to the world, which is a new theory. So I'm going to have ten, twenty thousand people, which have all been co-creators in the book, and we're going to use their feedback. So it's it's in real time feedback. Wow, that's how are you? Well, I can find out later how you're going to like present this if it the if the media. Well, it's what we're going to do is I, I, I got to tell you a little bit. I mean, we're going to have a separate like everything we have drawing a line in the sand. Everything we've done right now is heal your body. But what happens after you're you're done being sick? You know, like I, I am done being sick. Like I'm I no longer I don't even want to have the conversation anymore because it just keeps me in that. I don't want to keep talking about being sick because I'm not there. I want to talk about performance because that's what I'm doing. I go and perform in my life. And then I come back over here and talk about being sick for a little bit. And then I have to calm myself from that so I can go back and perform. So we're going to have a, like a, like a separate uh, group within our, within our community, uh, our platform, so that we can com- converse about it, a separate private Instagram channel. We're going to be doing uh, um, a webinar at once a month for about 90 minutes where we, we, we have a discussion, a talk. We give all of the advanced movements. We talk about why they work, but we have, and then uh, and then a feedback mechanism. And at the end of it, there's lessons that people get to go through every month. And at the end of the 12 months, there's a book created, and they're the first people to get that book. But that book is free to the world, so they're helping us get something out to the world. Because it, I I don't believe like I don't like believe in creating things in a vacuum. 
like I have a belief if I come and I present it, then I'm like, oh, I spent two years doing that, but I should have actually said it this way. So this is a way that we get to, basically it's like Microsoft. You know, don't bother bug fixing it, put it out right away. So we're putting it out to a group of people who are gonna help us shape the way that it's messaged. Well, you're doing your, 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 all your iterations real time, month over month, because you have so many people. Yeah. That's yeah. And, and, you know, people always ask us, how can we help? And, and we want to give them something like, you know, when you go uh, to a university and you're like, you're going to be a founding member and you buy a brick and they put it in the wall and everybody, basically it's a digital brick in the wall. We're giving people the ability who want to help and be, and the only rule is you can't ask how to fix yourself. I don't know, no talking about sickness or disease. It's all about performance. And because at the end of it, if you are performance in your body, you can't have sickness and disease. Right. I love that. I love that. I love the performance aspect of it, which is something we haven't talked about with the use of nano before. Well, that's but, where we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> where we want to be brain and body, all aspects, right? Yeah. Yeah. And this is where, I, and, and I, I, I get it. Like, you don't need a nano B to heal no. your body. But if you want to hyper perform, it will help you heal. But if you want to hyper perform, perform in life, that's a device, this is the device that works. And that's what I've spent the last year testing. And now I'm gonna roll out, and by the way, we have to start off the very first month is we're gonna tell people, this is the way I see the human body. Because I have a different view of the body than even your scientists work with. And, and I may be wrong, but it's what created fascial maneuvers. And it seems to be working around the world without any other intervention we have people curing from autoimmune disease, from cancer, we have babies coming off cancer, we have spec for people, kids and adults coming off the spectrum. We have women in their mid to late 60s coming out of menopause. Is that good? <laughs> well, if, 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 if menopause, if periods were painful, and I, I don't know, you can ask. I mean, the ones that are, I, I, I think that one of them is gonna have a child soon. Well, the, the point is that everybody's different. And so for their bodies and for them, the body's going to do the right thing. And yeah, we're, they, but something like that, menopause is a, is a condition of age and, and malnutrition. That's my belief system. And I can show it because now we get women are going into menopause at 35, 38, 39. And that means that it's not age dependent. It's, it's condition of the body. And, and it has heavily to do with absorption, malnutrition, and protein folding issues, as an example. Yeah, sure, sure. Wow. Well, this sounds like a really amazing program, what, you've, what you're what you teeing up. I bet you've got a lot on your plate to get ready to grow. Yeah. Well, uh, part of it is is I'm going to stop talking to the sickness of the world. Yeah. We have, we have everything that you need to help heal your body. Is there programs, coaches, online classes, events? It's all there, it runs all by itself. It's like AA, you can go to, go to a meeting anywhere in the world. And, and what we want to do is take our version and go over here and then start to talk about performance. And we, uh, we're working with all these really high-end Olympic and professional athletes. And I want to I wanna do fashion maneuvers. I want to put them in Nano V. I want to try different, I want to try the different thought processes that I have about how to make the body perform. And I want to focus on that. I want to I publish media about that. Love it. I love it. I, I think that that's, that's also how you get the people who are unwell well, is don't stay back here in the unwell phase. Live in this phase and your body will go tune up to that. You can't so, get out of disease talking about disease every day. And I talk, you know, I do a lot of work to, to, to separate myself from the conversations I have every day. I do a lot of work to do that. And, and I no longer want to give my energy to the disease process. Right. Yeah. yeah. And teaching people that to not identify and give their energy to that, you know, poor state, um, that will be a huge gift. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm super excited. Uh, I do want to have a business conversation with you offline. So let's do that. Um, this week's crazy. We'll do it next, next week. Next week is perfect for me. Okay, awesome. Rowena, I appreciate you so much. You guys have done something that's created technology that people are going to mirror, adapt, that changes the way people think.
basically you're healing the world with water and and i appreciate you for all that you're doing to help people i love love it i love it and i would love to do anything we can on that community health slide because that really that's where it needs to go so it's available to everybody absolutely we're gonna do it oh it's great to see you and it's great to see you glowing <laughs> <laughs> take care everyone take care. Bye, bye now that was a really cool conversation she says i'm glowing but i don't know if she was on there when i put urine on my face <laughs> what do you think how are we doing? And it's not oily. It's like, it looks, it looks, it looks like I'm hydrated, right? That was cool. Thank you, Rowena. Really appreciate that conversation. It's water that heals us. Thomas. Thomas. You guys want me to do another application of your Thomas. Hello. How are Mary. you? How are you? Thank you for sharing. Um, you're a Capricorn. You're in education uh, in that field. And uh, you're working with all kinds of people. And you were sharing with teachers and stuff like that. What are you sharing with the world right now? Yeah, you know, um, just coming back, you know, I had a detached retina in the fall. And, and that kept me in the healing phase. But in a couple of weeks ago, I presented at the Montessori conference here in Illinois, really in the Midwest, it's for everyone. But it was, it was such a wonderful experience because my work for the last 38 years around mental health and social emotional learning in schools, I, I have a feeling that the classroom is the most powerful place. Am I frozen or can you I, hear me, Gary? I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah, I just believe the classroom is the most unutilized resource for mental health and, and, um, and because kids are there six to seven hours a day and when you have a teacher who knows how to create a safe space and how to be model vulnerability and authenticity the kids in the room feel safe to be authentic and real and they start finding out they're not alone and then when that teacher does different methods to self-regulate including fashion maneuvers someday i hope to incorporate that and um when you have a safe space like that it's a win-win because Kids' nervous systems are settled. They can focus. Behavior goes down, and the learning goes up. And um, so, anyways, this has been my mission. It's been my calling um, to really work with tapping into the power of the classroom, which is underutilized. Most teachers aren't empowered. You know, they have their their histories of trauma and their histories of pushing down emotions. And then, when you have a curriculum that invites them to feel it it can be unconsciously really terrifying for them to be in their bodies. And so they back burner SEL a lot. SEL, which stands for social emotional learning, is a hot topic. And I've been involved in it, as I said, for 38 years, it's finally catching on. But it's also failing or plateauing because teachers yeah. aren't supported and empowered. And the work you're doing, I think, I was talking to Deidre yesterday and it was just one of, I call them bits it's of light, but talking to her, I thought we talked for a half hour, we talked for two hours on Zoom. And um, there was so much deep connection and nourishment and aliveness in the call because we saw the potential for us to work together, to share our gifts, to sh even bring in fashion maneuvers into the world of um, the classroom and the teachers and the books, stories. Um, I have a curriculum that I'd love to share with you, which is really took forever to write three years, but it's you know, everything I learned about the body and about the nervous system, about trauma, but how to, and about emotions. Well, you were, so, so speaking of that, you were just going through uh, detox, yeah. uh, trauma and release of emotions. Yeah, and that's one I wanted to talk to you about because- Because um, your whole face blew up. And, and, and that, 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 is, that is one of the, that's one of the worst ones because every single place you go you are forced everybody has some view of it it's not like i got a problem here or a problem here or a problem inside it's like it shows every day yeah and i thank you for taking time to support me through messaging that that was huge um i want you to say to say in the game and a few other people in the garage uh helped me um but that was terrifying you know it started with getting work on my gut you had suggested to work with my chiropractor who's a really gifted body 
energy worker to work on my gut, which was wonderful because I'd go home with the free, calm nervous system, a clear brain, calmness for 24 hours. But uh, that, after two weeks, it blew up. And is it was terrifying uh, to see the scabs and everything. Okay. And, yeah. Uh, so uh, I was I was trying to I was going to bring up a picture because I no it's not, I don't know how to do it. I have it in front. If you can just search his. Okay. I was just going to bring up a picture to show because it was it was pretty like I want I want people to get a, a grasp of what you were going through. I mean it was it was really intense and. And it takes a lot of belief at that particular time. Well, it takes a lot of belief and a lot of support. I mean, people like you and Jen and Happy Camper and um, a few other folks, uh, you know, support kept me going. But, you know, the did you send, by the way, do you send pictures just to my Instagram or do you send them to Human Garage? I send them just to you and I can oh. be sent because I was looking at them yesterday when I was startled with how you have do you have a picture there um, yeah let's see I've never pulled up pictures while I'm doing an Instagram live let me... uh, no you can't you can't yeah, do that okay. you can't do it. yeah I'll send you a, I'll send one to you because uh Why don't you, I, can I you do me a favor more. can you send me uh just just send a just take another snapshot can I put a before and after on our story yeah yep yeah. I'm feeling more comfortable just to talk about this because um uh, hey 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 I I've been I've been helping you. Yeah, I want you to help me now. Oh, I I I would love to get back, Gary, in any way. That's partly why. That's I'm and and up. at the end of it, people what people respond to is some sort of evidence, yeah. right? And this is why yeah. we ask people to take pictures, because because it gives it 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 makes it real. Because uh, there's a lot of talk about what is works or what doesn't work or what's right or what's not right, but at the end of it, it shows up in our body. So if you would be willing to, you don't have to, but if you'd be willing to, I'd be lovely. No, I'd, I'd love to, Gary. You know, <laughs> I, I, you're, you have had, you and the, the other folks in the garage have had a profound effect on my life and given me optimism um, and light in the midst of a really dark time. And, and, the, and that's why I'm getting involved with the parents group to give back to yeah. them. That's another way. To I, think you're gonna, I think you're gonna find, uh, what, you know, what I believe is happening with education, I believe that well, first of all, the national education system is going to crumble in the United States by the by next year. And then after that, there's going to be power returned to the states. But then there's different viewpoints. But the current model of education has to change. Like even in the in the elite schools right now, they've dropped the SATs and they're recruiting heavily because people are saying, I'm not going to do it anymore. So it's more about it's more about preparing people for living as education. Like, how do I manage my emotions? How do I live in a community? How do I manage my finances? Which those none of those things are talked about anymore. Exactly. Those, those are the foundation, you know, for life. And once you get those ability to manage what goes on inside you and, and manage work with other people, Companies, the research has shown companies want people with a high social emotional intelligence. They'll train you in the skills. That's easy. But because social emotional learning starts at conception and is developed heavily in the first year and a half of life when the right side of the brain is being wired, that's harder to change for a company. But they can give you the skills, but they can't give you social emotional intelligence. And that's well, why that's that's that is that is the issue. It's like I'm I'm finding, you know, like what what we have have you ever read john gatto's the uh 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 book the no. underground um sorry the does anybody put in the comments why did i get the uh underground education history of under uh so john taylor gatto he reads a book about the education system and where it came from the education system that's been in america for a little over 100 years called the dung gang education system the goal is to remove the, the the child from the parent for as long as possible for indoctrination or programming and and that that school like in the four in the 30s and 40s there's a lot of schools that were still one through uh, k through 12. and and most people were done their education at grade six or grade nine and even when I went to school, I'm 55, the majority of my graduating class, um, the majority of the people that were in grade, uh, it was only 50% of the people that went from grade nine through to grade 12. And then 
of that, 80% of them went into a trade. They went in and they learned machine shop or something like that. Uh, they learned something specific. So they didn't learn academia. And, uh, and today we have, a, we have a very broken system. We have people coming into, as you said, into the workforce, and they don't have emotional intelligence. Um, 20-year-olds, 20, 20 25-year-olds, 20 28-year-olds, they, they, you know, we laugh about it, but they do not have so, uh, social skills to handle. Um, and, and this is a, and, and furthermore, there's a lot of this going on, pointing at everybody and blaming everything. For the way, and what, what this is doing is it's, it's causing malfunctions at corporate America, which is exactly what you're talking about. The, the other thing that's not done, Gary, that's so important to me, and I think you highlight this a lot. There's so much that you share that resonates with my soul and my path. But one of my primary things that when I taught elementary school is I felt called to help my students find their gifts in life. Yeah. To find why they came into this world. Sure. Because for one reason, it's great for mental health and belonging. When you're in a group of kids and you know you have something that's being seen and valued and appreciated, you feel like you belong. And every kid and every human being has a gift. And that's why I loved Howard Gardner's eight areas of intelligence or nine areas of intelligence. The normal school system highlights two, linguistic and, and math and logic. So there's two and the broad spectrum of intelligence, including social emotional intelligence, the ability to look inward or the ability to work with others. And, so many kids just go to school. You know, the classroom was set up to be just make good workers who listened in the industrial time and didn't challenge authority. It wasn't set up to really bring out the best in you and what was inside you. And I just think finding kids and helping them find their gifts and their purpose is the foundation of helping them grow. And uh, it's usually not done. I mean, how many people really were told early on what, you know, helped them find their purpose? And a lot of times the purpose lies in something that's painful or a challenge. Maybe it's in something they love. Um, but it's, it's so important. Uh, does that so, uh, Somebody pinned it right there, the underground history of American education. Thank you. My brain, for whatever reason, my brain didn't connect with that. It's when you read that book, and you look around in the world today, in the, in the United States, Canada, and a lot of other nations, you will see why we are so dysfunctional as a society today. It's because how we raise our kids is the element of society. And this started as an articulated attack on, on society literally 50 years ago, where we started changing the dynamics. Because when we went to school, it was like, it was, I, First of all, there was not an edu there was not an expectation of me going to university. As a matter of fact, quite a few people didn't. Some of them would go for a higher learning, which is important that you have that balance. But most would go into something practical and to be useful. And now we have kids coming out of school highly educated, and they they literally cannot even function at a Starbucks job. They don't have the social skills. They don't have the literal social intelligence to make simple decisions. They haven't learned how to make a decision because they've been told for the first 25 to 30 years of their life how to think. And how, how not to feel and not yeah. how to feel in their body, which is mm -hmm. a little tough. If you're not in your body and you're not feeling and you're pushing down all that emotion and, old, and trauma, it's gonna come out at some point and yeah. unconsciously in the work. and. Um, you know, one thing I just wanted to share that really validates the work you do, but one thing I've learned in my journey is that 80% of the information in the body, 80% of the information that's flown through the body is going upwards to the brain. 20% is going down from the brain to the body, which tells you evolutionary wise that the body is key to the, you know, to the brain and, and understanding the world. And yet we don't really, most of us weren't taught to be in our bodies. Because you know, too you know, it, the brain's not even an organ, and and there has been a a, a mouth. There has been a, a a heinous information dump that has been given to us. Our body is the computer. Our brain is the processor. If the body is busy, the brain is busy. If the body is not busy, the brain is calm. Yeah. The brain is attached 
task master that that identifies patterns and resolves them. It has very little memory capabilities. It has zero pain and does not experience emotions. Now that's one thing I wanted to ask you because I'm, I got curious learning about the brain 20 years ago because I knew when I talked to people like athletes who I talked to because I team up with the Hayden Hurst Foundation, he plays for the Carolina Panthers and has been very open about his mental health and suicide attempt. But what I've learned, I knew that if I told them, started talking to men, especially men and some women about emotions, they'll tell me I'm not emotional. But when I show them the brain and I show them the body, because I think the brain stem, the survival center is the connection to the body. But I do think the limbic system produces emotions. Like okay, so, 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 so stop, stop right there. You're, you are trained in a function of the brain and the body if that model that you're talking about is the one that I learned. But if that model was true, fascial maneuvers and what we do doesn't exist. Your, your, your brain is a command center. Our brains, this is actually scientifically true, but it's just like quantum physics is scientifically true right now, but we have all of our world based on Newtonian physics. It's, it's, we, we, there is, there is science around this. Your body has an interstitium. So your fascia has a brain. It's scientifically proven. Just Google interstitium, the new organ, and you'll find that. It, and the, the, the brain of the body, the actual brain itself, um, we don't produce emotions here. We actually resolve emotions there because an emotion has an organ function, it has a visceral experience that connects to the hormonal centers. The brain is, a, is the switchboard operator. It's the brain, and, and, and this is why in our 28 Day Reset Lifestyle Artist Program, we start off telling people, if the brain doesn't even move the muscles in the body. The brain responds to the movement of fascia. For example, if you cut off a limb, we can now measure the field that where that limb used to be, and we can measure it with equipment that shows the field still there. Same thing with the plant. If you put a prosthetic up here, you can still move that, but the brain's movement is only through the nervous system. There is no nerves that go there to move that new prosthetic hands. Mm. That is interpretation of the field. This is the science. This is the entire human garage. My entire life's work is based on the fact that our, that our human body is just a reaction to movement. Mm. For example, if you have a desire, in order for your brain to move your body, you have to have a desire, which is an emotion. Emotion is here, emotion. And, and I'll give you an example. Even memory is emotional. Uh, our organs have a high density of, of olfactory nerve cells. So when I went on my 44-day fast, I could no longer remember what food tasted like. I knew in my brain that I liked that particular food, that, that avocado, that guacamole, but I had no memory of the taste because it's emotions, it's a feeling. And this is to what you're talking about. We are emotional creatures and the brain resolves emotion. Energy is emotion moves the body and we can prove that scientifically now so this is where the the brain its job is to coordinate the the impulses that we get from our field because the human experience starts out here and this is a high frequency which we can measure through thermography we can use computers we have science that can tell you that field and how far it goes and all that the Lowest, the most dense part of a human experience, that ball of energy, is what we identify with as human. Mm -hmm. But that is the actual dense, I'll call it for this way, the stupid part of the human experience is actually what we identify as the human experience. Mm -hmm. It's the dense part. It's the thick part. It's lethargic. But when we have an intuition, and, and think about this, you may have seen this there's a couple ones where this uh, this this guy's uh, baseball guy is talking to a reporter, and and they're off the field, and somebody hits a ball, and he goes Whoop, like this, catches it, sort of hit her in the head, and throws it away. And we have thousands of examples like that. The brain is not involved in that action. The brain didn't even know it; doesn't have any way to know that that ball was coming. 
And these are all the unexplained things. And this is why we're so messed up about the human body because we believe that the brain is dominant. But if the brain isn't dominant, then every dis everything that we say about the body changes afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, you know, I'm very open to it, Gary. I mean, what I believe, I mean, I've learned so much over the last 20 years and I'm learning things from you. So I'm, I'm open to it. I definitely grew with a mindset, but I, I know my body tells me different signals. And is it a mindset or is it a belief? Because uh... if I have a belief that's not a mindset, because I can have something in my mind where I know something to be true, but I feel it to not be true. You see what I'm saying, yeah. right? Yeah, well, our, we want fuck up our, we, we think that this is consciousness, but we know that 98% of every action we take is subconscious, unconscious. Yeah. That means it works on values and beliefs, which are not a part of the brain. Hmm. Can I ask you, you know, part of, can I ask you for some support? I'm stuck in a place and I really, sure. uh, and this feels very tender. It's where I talked to you last time, but um, six months ago was my first time connecting with you, and um, right before my eye surgery. And um, you know, I I think you remember, but I'll just briefly bottom line it. But you know, I had came into the world with a birth trauma, re-experienced it in a cranial sacral when I was in my thirties, and and uh, the bottom line is I can watch how I've sort of lived that out. It's I think it's had a positive impact on my life and in learning a lot about babies and attachment and trauma, but I'm stuck in. Um, so I left teaching at a time to do this work and it felt like a calling. I left teaching before I had enough to retire on, right? It was a risk. It felt very much a lot of spiritual science to do it. But once I got out of teaching and started this journey of working with schools, was on my own it was terrifying all my trauma around survival and aging and would i have enough came up and my birth trauma and my body has for the last 20 years since i left teaching has been dealing with you know just a lot of pain physical pain um back injury that, that kept me isolated sort of in solitary confinement for three and a half years i couldn't sit i couldn't stand um so going through the, the detox um started Starting two months ago with the face, then the lungs and the grief and coughing, now back spasms. It, it, you know, I missed the trip for work. And so I'm looking at like two things. One, I have all these gifts inside that I know are really valuable and that the world needs and education needs. And when I'm in that space, like talking to Deidre yesterday, my passion comes out, my strengths come out. But I also, when I'm, when I'm not feeling well or I start envisioning, in my aging process, if my body doesn't stay well, I can't generate income and I don't have enough to live. And I go into this panic that's become almost obsessive compulsive where I'm constantly thinking about, oh my God, I don't have enough to retire on. If I don't, everything's on my shoulders to produce. Okay, if I don't, so yeah, I'm, then I'll get the picture. Yeah, yeah. What for Gary is any, you know, any wisdom because I think it's held in my body, the trauma from birth. I, I got the wisdom for you. You don't even have to say anymore. Please. Your, the job of your brain is to resolve, identify patterns and resolve them. Mm -hmm. This is a pattern. Yep. The brain's having troubles resolving. Yeah. Okay. So when emotion comes up, the brain has to answer it. The bigger the emotion, the, the more the brain tries to answer it, and then it loops. Loops mm -hmm. and loops. That's what's The happened. answer comes when I get perspective, per perception. When I stand outside of that back and forth, I stand over here, I look at it and go, wait a second here. I don't need to worry about that. Things were okay. My body, I thought I was, my life was ending and my body detoxed, my face blew up, but now I'm okay. Mm -hmm. So perspective is, is, Virtue is natural to us when our body is out of stress because the brain isn't solving problems. Mm. That's why doing fascial maneuvers and following the 28 day process takes us out of stress long enough. The, mm. the, the, the body habituates experience. So 
if my experience every time I feel this emotion is to go to that narrative to to to, to try and resolve it, what well, I have to fear for my money, I have to fear for my life, I have to fear for my well-being. Well, you played that loop a thousand times. You're still here. You 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 had that worry twenty years ago, ten years ago, five years ago, but you're still here today. Yeah. So at some some point, when you come out of stress long enough over 28 days yeah. you go oh, wait a second here i'm okay so if i'm okay and i was all okay and every other time i worried about it i was okay anyways at the end of it why do i keep telling this story so even you i was going to stop you earlier but i let you go yeah because you're telling the same story yeah and and you're telling the same story that's the narrative which is your perception which is your frontal cortex so the way I got through it, because I came with eight concussions, yeah. I lost my ability to use a computer, I was under severe PTSD, I feared for my life, my safety, my family, I feared when a cop drove by, I feared when a helicopter went over, mm. I feared, I feared, I feared, I feared. I powered through that fear, but I just, I was powering through it. My body was wearing down as I was powering through it. Yeah. So my transition point was when I learned to take my body out of stress two to three times per day. So the answer for me was I feel an emotion coming up. Now I go do something. I do an organ reset. And I've done that consistently for four years. As I do that, I gain back the options because stress narrows our focus. The end result of stress is suicide. Mm -hmm. Because I see no other option, I can't be here. The opposite of 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 suicide is uh, infinite opportunities, expansion, solutions. The hormone that is associated with the opposite of it is called serotonin. Mm -hmm. Right here, when I clean up my gut, get the chemicals out of my life, and I move the tissue here, my serotonin comes back up, and I see options. But the second I go into stress, I go back to the habit. Yeah. So it's basically, you're go going to go to rehab. And the rehab isn't off of what you think drugs and alcohol are. It's the drug and alcohol of emotions and narratives, yeah. the combination of the two that are deadly. And that's what the community is for. It's to narrate, it's to share your experiences and then go this way a second here. I've had the same fear for 30 years and I'm okay. When, when, when do I stop beating myself up? Like how much pain do I put myself in every day? Am I gonna continue to have this narrative? Because I see where you're at and you were removing the physical signs when you were in there, you sounded like it was never gonna end. And I've been there too, so I know I've been there too. But you were doing everything in your power to stay positive when your face blew up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I'm not giving in to what I just shared with you. It's just, and I appreciate what you just shared. That's very helpful. There's a visceral. You have to stop um, telling the story though, Tom. No, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, what I'm getting from here, you know, and this is, I'm working it, you know, in terms of I'm doing the Oregon Reset twice a day, doing all the. Yeah, you're doing it. That's why you detox. So the sign that it's working is your body detox. Can you imagine you're holding all that shit in your body? Right. Yeah. Right. The, the, the challenge. The challenge. Hey, oh, stop, 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 stop. I'm going to do the not, not the challenge. Not the challenge. Tell me. Tell me the opportunity. Uh, all right. All right. All right. No. And I, I want you to know that I, this side of the story is also I'm working in my brain. I'm not just saying I'm fighting all day to say, to affirm myself, to say affirmations, and look for the opportunities. And I. And there's a pull that drifts down to the body when I feel sick to my stomach, even want to go out the door. I just feel sick to my stomach that starts pulling the brain so very say, quickly. Into the say, say to yourself when you get there, Tom, Yeah. hey, body, I see, you're, I see you're upset. It's okay. If there's anything you want to show me, show me now. Talk to your emotions. Yeah. Talk to your body. Go, good job, Tom. We got through that one. Talk to yourself. I from a third party point of view and you get begin to habituate that perception. Talk to yourself, literally talk to yourself up. I 
do, and I will keep doing it. This is just an affirmation to keep going. I have been constantly trying to talk. I know you are. That's why you're detoxing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the thing, so you asked me what's the opportunity here. Oh. Um, I mean, for me, the opportunity is, you know, is to use my gift gifts in the world. I mean, freedom to step out of a sort of self-confined jail that I've been living in, solitary confinement. So why are you in that jail? What What is the positive benefit of you being there? Think about my story. Um, why was I, I in jail? Part, what did that do for me? I mean, it helped me. Part of why I'm good at what I do is I'm a sensitive soul, but I, I've learned to go through a horrendous physical and emotional pain and i have so deep what, empathy for but what skill set does that give you that other people don't have the ability to connect with people quickly and that's it this is all an experience so that you can be authentic in your interactions with others which is the only way to help somebody is not with knowledge it's with right. authentic experience it's done it's, it's time for us to end this I know I have a scientific study that doesn't work for shit. It's our authentic experience, which helps people. You know, that's the one thing I've learned over the years, Gary, and that's my biggest message with teachers. And I'm proud of it because it took me a lot of hard work in, in therapy and, and a lot of work going inward and digging through stuff. And there's more work to be done, obviously, because you're hearing my story still active, <laughs> but I've learned the power of authenticity to me. It feels like eating a good meal when people are authentic with me. So the work's already like done. I want you to hear this. Yes. You're already whole and healthy. Yes. You already turned the corner. You've gone through the hardest part. Now the rest of it is letting your body, your life, your relationships, and all the habits that you built up to end, resolve, and detox. I can tell by talking to you right now that you're already healthy, wealthy, and wise. Your body, your life, your situations will catch up to it, but it, it starts in the perception, and then it goes into the converse, the narrative, then the conversation in my head, then the conversation external, sorry, conversation external, then the conversation in my head, then in my emotions, and then in my body finally, and it takes time. You are, you, you have, you have, You've gone over the mountain. It's all downhill in a good way right now. No mm. more uphill climb. First of all, I haven't seen you. It is kind of strange in this call, but you're spinning. Your face is stationary in the little circle spinning. So it's. I'm trusting you're there. I hear your voice, but I can't see your I'm facial here. expression. You're there. I feel it. Um, yeah, no, it feels good to hear. It's... it's uh, Oh man, you know it's just uh, yeah. I just want Tom, to be you are you're whole. You've already done it. The work is already done. Now find evidence to show how much it's done. And when your body detoxes, that's not a problem. That's evidence of the solution. Because the other thing was is that shit could have stayed in your body for another ten years, fifteen years, and that would have taken you out. Well, let me ask. Do this, and this is gonna, I and mean, you can push back on me if it feels like I'm, I, I mean, it's a narrative, but you know, that from all, you know, the, the, the back spasms have started, and I've told you, you know, I, I've been wanting to do that. I do the facial lift every day, twice a day, and I do the lower, uh, the, the, the barefoot spasms. back spasms is because you don't feel supported in your journey. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. so I, so it's, it comes with, I'm, I'm starting to feel supported. I feel like it's Deidre, I, I supported you. I talked to you. People in our team talked to you. Deidre has reached out and talked to you. I am now feeling supported. I can see the support in my life. I no longer have to fear not being supported because I can feel supported. Yeah. It's, Got it. It's, it's document, it's finding evidence to support what's already there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you, you're, job now is to be an, an investigator of all of the things that that validate this belief system you've already turned the corner you're the biggest part of the grief came on like not everybody gets the opportunity to have that thank god that you did because you will never forget that lesson and when grief comes back in your body you're going to go no i don't want it anymore well it's still coming out
out the last two nights of my dreams started taking some medicinal mushrooms in my dreams the last couple of nights have been vivid but crying in my dreams the last couple of nights you Perfect. Know, and i must be letting go of I'm more st still letting it go yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah you know what i'm still letting it go it's not you're never done that's it, true right. it's 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 learning that the journey is what i came here for not the end result I didn't come here to be like, great. The say that one more time, please. It's the journey I came here for, yeah. not the end result. I didn't come here to to bring fashion maneuvers to the world, which I thought I did for a while. I came here to have my own experience, and my experience is all the things that have come from this. It's meeting you. It's it's meeting the people I work with. It's being. It's, a, it's about changing my life. It's about having, about going to prison. That was part of my experience. I asked for that. It wasn't put upon me. I'm not a victim of it. I chose that stuff. Yeah, I, that's why I like your story. I believe, I, I too resonate with that. And I believe it and see it and keep looking for the gifts and all the stuff I've been. I, uh, I, I, wanna, I wanna ask you this though, because I wanna break through. I, I'm having trouble doing the twist, and I'm frustrated. I want to twist. I want to fully do the maneuvers, get, but my mid back. You know back. what? It's you're. It's still that lack of feeling supported. I feel supported, and uh, then and, and then get together with somebody in your area. Do partner maneuvers. Do a belly button on torque. Uh, we have a device coming up. You just by the way, you just freed up all the. We, we have you're, you're, this. I'm gonna show you guys right now. It's a really cool device that actually lets you do the. The most important one is the belly button torque. Like that. We have this coming up here right away, which is going to make it a lot easier to do that. But the partner maneuvers, they work. And there are people around, and you can get anybody to do it with you. Well, yesterday, I just get a plug for what's coming to Chicago. But when I was talking to Deidre yesterday, um, she was talking about, you know, maybe she and Jen will do some partner maneuvers with me here in Chicago. But um, because I do, the gut for me is is really important part, and the umbilical cord for me is really important to get work done and continue. And uh, there's a pop up here. If there's anybody in the Chicagoland area or Illinois uh, on March 23rd here, that Jen and Deidre are hosting a perfect pop up. And then when you get that pop up there, find people that are there and say, hey, let's practice together. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's tens of thousands of people in Chicago doing this. Somebody's got to start a group there somewhere. In, at Human Garage, you're talking? Yeah, yeah there's, there's probably 20,000 people in Chicago. That follow you? Oh, way more that follow huh? us. Those are the ones that are doing something every day. Huh. I was not aware of that. I looked on the website for who's... Well, because you're not going to find... Because a lot of people go to social media, they do it, they they interact, they learn the movements, they don't come to live every day. The majority, 95% of the people don't interact on a daily basis, but they're doing it. And if they knew that there was somebody else doing it, they would. But somebody's going to take a flag, put it up and say, I'm here. And then people will start to come. So Gary, that two things, that device you're having your hand and you froze again, when you move backwards, you're actually freed up. But uh, is that is that something that's uh, available for people? It will be shortly, like within a couple of weeks. Okay. It's uh, really, really powerful. It has different, has, it has, it's magnetic. It has different attachments for it. We've been working with these guys. So it's got like different size attachments for different things. And it can use it for twisting. You can step on it. Yeah, it's it's super cool. I have I it has I have not been able the one thing I haven't been able to do effectively, like I can do on you is I get that power twist in the body. I can't do that on myself. This is the first and I was waiting for something. This is the one that actually got it for me. So that will be available shortly, like within weeks. And is there do, do, when you were going through your cleansing and detoxing and going through all getting all that terror out of your body, were you tired a lot? I've been really tired. Yeah, I, yeah. There, there was there was a there was a, a there was a there were times where like there was a month and there was a there was a month and there was one month where I was in so much pain I couldn't get up. That there like yeah like while we were live, you know, and and Jason and Cynthia filled in like 
my journey. That's why I share my journey. That's why it's been in, in the apps and stuff like that. My journey has been public because I want people to know it's okay. The, yeah. the body is unwinding itself. When you're in the conscious state of healing and you're doing all the right things, when a sickness or an illness, what you think is an illness coming up, it's not. It's something coming up to resolve itself. And it's important at that point to not tell the, 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 doom and, the doom and gloom story. To say, okay, thank you, body, for bringing that up. I appreciate it. You know, because I get a lot of people there get like shingles or they'll get, they'll get rashes, they'll get eczema breakout, they'll have, the, uh, they'll have like their body will just break out and stuff. And I'm like, thank God, because that is the stuff that kills you 10, 20, 30 years from now. Yeah. It's, it's challenging when you detox and you have to do work and you have things to do and yet you detox hey. and you feel like crap. Yeah. Hey, when I'm detoxing and I have to do work, I find new ways to do it. It's an awesome opportunity to learn how to work differently, how to balance my work and my life together. It's not challenging. Challenging is you keep just telling you, you keep walking yourself into a problem. Everything that you're saying is turning into a problem. What you're doing is because you're creating a problem to overcome, but you no longer have to do that. That's your old life. What do you, I last... no longer create problems to overcome them say that i no longer create problems to overcome them i see I no longer opportunity in everything that i in everything that i do i see opportunity in everything that i, I do the opportunity in every experience i see opportunity in every experience everything that is happening to me is for my better for my good everything that's happening to me is for my highest good there we go Look at your brain just calm down right now. I can feel it. Yeah, yeah, I did. So, so I'm connected to you. I can feel everything in your body, by the way. I can feel everything that's not working and working. That's the way I work. I can feel your thoughts. Working on my eyes, trying to get my... Uh, that's that's fear <laughs> facing your karma in the future. Thoughts, computers. I don't know what you did for computer screens, but I have... A trouble after the surgery the, looking at computer uh get the uh go to our website the viva rays oh. are the yeah those are those are incredible because they also you if you use it with the circadian rhythm and you use it at night it actually uh, rebalances your hormones and your healing mechanism also helps with adrenal fatigue which is connected to your lower back by the way yes yeah, no, I saw the guy interviewed. That's really profound stuff. And I, I got to go get my eyes checked, which I'm... Uh, Don't bother getting your eyes checked. Just do the work. Your eyes will get better. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do? What are they going to tell you? That my eyes are getting worse or they're getting better? It's like, what is the point of checking? What are, like, what are you going to do about it anyway? It's like, why don't you go do the things to take care of it and then you, use your results? Have you ever heard of... Uh, People, like when that happened last fall, when they told me I have a detached retina, I don't know if I could have healed it myself, I guess. Of Maybe course I can heal. Panic. Absolutely, yes. I have had people with retinas that have healed themselves. If really? you can regrow a liver, if you can regrow a gallbladder, you can, you can, your, your eye and your retina. And if, furthermore, technically, what I've been doing is waiting for the shape change in my face just to reprogram my eyes. That's why I use these. These are just magnifiers because I'm looking so often. I don't want to strain to look. Yeah. So, so technically, there's a whole program where you can actually learn to see and read with with blindfolders on. All I that. do is interpret energy that's already there. It's just one way of doing it, but that's not the only way. Mm. Everything we've been told about how our body works is almost a lie. Mm. That's mm. what we're gonna. That's why I'm doing this new program. I'm gonna start busting myths one at a time. I, I'm glad you're doing that, Gary. And I just one thing I wanted to tell you because um, I totally understand the evolution of where you're going, and it's it's wonderful. And I hope it, that you show up once in a while for these lives because your spirit. A different way. It's going to be a different way. I'm going to be over there talking about. I'm going to have a podcast. It's time for the people who are still in the journey. I'm no longer effective for. Like I said, I'm no longer effective. Or the person who's in the beginning part of the journey. Well, I'm very well, effective for your part of the journey because I no longer resonate there. The people yeah. that can help 
help you the most as my frequency changes mm. it's harder of a gap for people to get and they start deitizing and that's not the point here we have so many like Deidre and and you have Jen that are coming there they're still in that part of the journey they're the best people to help you out not me that, that makes sense I, you know the uh so it's kind of interesting while we're talking my oven went off on the alarm so there must be some good energy going on that's here, telling but... you that that's true because <laughs> you because because you get you get confirmations through numbers and 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 sudden events that's how you get confirmations yeah yeah and music See? too. just did it again what what did i do no as soon as i said it it just did it again oh it's going i can't get it off but that's okay but yeah, no, I I hear uh, I hear your journey, and I just I uh, I am you know deeply thankful for who you are. I've shared this with you, but um, I'm glad you continue to share your story and your vulnerability. And the best is yet to come. That's all I got to tell you. What I am so excited about being able to show people because everything that we talk about is the first six months of my journey. I want to talk about where I'm at right now, so people can see the end result or the next step not the end result. Well, my vision is to, to bring fashion maneuvers in, into schools and classrooms as a self-regulation tool. It fits in beautifully with what I already do. So, um, you know, I hope to continue it in that realm. And by the way, field. you have a lot of support. There are teachers all over the world implementing this right now as we do We're talking, I know, I know of hundreds of teachers who have contacted me, showing me pictures of their class doing it and stuff like that. Beautiful. So, so it, 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 you are, you're at the top educating the educators. They're already doing it. So that's when it meets and it'll meet fast. This next year, it's going to be in every, it's going to be in every system that you can imagine in the world over the next year. Well, I, thank I, you, Tom. Thank you, Gary very much i'm deeply grateful for for your support and who you are and your mission take care bye take bye. care bye okay if you haven't done it yet uh, please go over to our youtube and sign up and subscribe because we are going to be publishing a lot of stuff there yes you heard it we are going to be moving to a podcast so i'm going to be interviewing people who have been successful with instead of talking to everybody in pain i'm going to show you the people who are killing it in a good way slaying this thing that are having success in every area of their life because they've been doing fashion maneuvers they've been following the process that's what i'm going to be sharing on a podcast and some of the we're going to be getting into the details of of the way we live our lives in addition to that we are going to be co-creating with you a book and a documentary in real time over 12 months and everybody who's a part of it's going to be contributing to the knowledge, this belief system going out to the world because it's time for us to put a stamp on it. We know it works right now, and now it's time to get it out to the world. And I'm happy to be partnering with each and every one of you. Um, it's going to be fantastic. So look for that. We're going to have the beginning of the program available uh, within the next 7 to 10 to 14 days. You'll be able to actually go and sign up for it and be a part of it. It'll be separate from everything that you already have here today. And it's gonna be that for a reason because it's time to draw a line in the sand and say, what do you do after you're done being sick? Talk to you tomorrow.